lifetime, a cell will do its job. But if it grows too large and its surface area to volume ratio can't support its needs, the cell will divide. Eukaryotic cells must divide the nucleus in a process called mitosis. And the rest of the cytoplasm must also divide in a process called cytokinesis. To get started, a series of proteins will trigger cell division throughout interphase and mitosis, checking that everything is copied and moved and divided correctly. Let's look at the beginning of mitosis. The first stage is prophase, which is sometimes divided into early and late prophase. In early prophase, the centrioles begin to form spindle fibers, and the nuclear membrane breaks apart, and the chromosomes are fully formed. Then the centrioles migrate toward the poles of the cell. In late prophase, the spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes at the centromeres. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up at the middle of the cell. In anaphase, chromatids of each chromosome separate at the centromere toward opposite ends. Each chromatid is now considered to be its own chromosome after it has separated. In telophase, Spindle fibers are disassembled, nuclear membranes reform, and the chromosomes uncoil into chromatin. This marks the end of mitosis, but division is not over yet. Lastly, cytokinesis occurs, which divides the cytoplasm into two, pinching along a line called the cleavage furrow. Cytokinesis in plants is a little bit different because a cell wall must be formed. Small vesicles begin to migrate toward the center and build a cell plate, which becomes the cell wall of the plant. Then two daughter cells are made. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.